Good afternoon. So today is Friday. Friday. We love Fridays. What kind of, I don't know. It doesn't really feel any different for me to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, today we have a few plans. So Ashley's birthday is coming up and we're kind of celebrating like a little early. For sure today we are going to go ahead and go to dinner reservations later on. We originally had plans to go to San Diego and then go to Vegas but just shit wasn't working out. So today was the day we were going to go to San Diego and unfortunately it's raining and all the activities that we had were outside so we couldn't go. So in this case we decided to go right ahead and do dinner reservations and end up just chilling at the house, having a movie night and maybe catch up on RuPaul's Drag Race. So. I'm very excited so I just wanted to go ahead and get ready with you guys or I don't know I just wanted to I don't know I've just been seeing a lot of comments that you guys want to see like my makeup and stuff like that I'm gonna shower I'm not gonna wash my hair because I am gonna be doing like a cute hairstyle so hopefully it works out I did not end up washing my hair only because it is oily and since I'm gonna be like basically adding like all these products like it doesn't make sense so I'm gonna be doing my hair wash day tomorrow which is Saturday what I am deciding to do with my hair today is I do want to Here, um, what's it called? Dry shampoo. <laughs> of course, the dry shampoo went. I need it. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? Okay, my hair is like really greasy. Side eye. Side eye. We got the first chunk.
Ah, okay. Um, this. I'll be back. No joke, this is probably the fifth time that I've been trying to get this pony. And this, these little shark fins, they keep popping up when I like do this. It's pissing me the fuck off. So I'm gonna try it one more time and then hopefully we get it right. I successfully did it. This is probably the best one that I've done. Let's do it a little more. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Oh my god, not from down here because it hurts. Oh, I haven't had a pony this tight in a while. I could feel the, the headache already coming in. Now, you can let down the hair from the bottom. So then, I'm genuinely excited for this hairstyle. Now all I have to do, look at my little curl. Like, what? Now I just have to basically, oh my god. I just have to curl my hair. And we are set. I am so, so excited for this hair. Loki, I haven't done my hair like very cute in a very long time. So I'm definitely feeling a... You guys are going to be able to hear the UV app, but it's currently raining. Well, it's been raining. Now it's raining a little harder, so I kind of have to protect my hair when we basically go to the restaurant. So let's let's just find a way. But of course, I'm going to go ahead and basically section off my hair. You know what? Just kidding. I want to hide this band. And then I'm gonna use like a clip. I think that worked. Ah, success! I'm gonna section it off, brush it out again. This is the curling iron that I am using from Foxy Babe, and I am gonna put it on the fourth flash, as you can see. Is there a thing of like too much? I wanna try to do like as tight of a curl as I can, just cause I wanna make sure they kinda of last, I guess. Um, and I do need hairspray. Oh wait, I do have hairspray. And we're gonna go ahead and just curl all the pieces. I want to buy those little clamps that they use to like hold the hair just because like I feel like that will help a lot with like making sure the curls stay kind of tight you know so I mean I'm just trying to figure this out there we go so that's one curl So change of plans, um, I'm not going to end up finishing my hair, I already kind of started but the good thing I didn't start too much of it. Oh my god, the curls look so pretty though, I'm so sad. So I think what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to do like a cute messy bun kind of vibe, um, just because we're going to end up doing like a cute um, hangout at the house real quick, we're going to do a little smoky morning. So yeah, I'm going to go right ahead and just basically do some face. Um, I'm gonna save the hair for tomorrow and do the face so we could go ahead and feel cute and you know. So let me go ahead and just fix the hair situation. It's nothing crazy. I love extensions only because like literally when you do buns it just looks so full and beautiful. Same with braids, same with like everything else. So it's just 
it's amazing. We're gonna put these pieces down and we're gonna low-key actually take some pieces to kind of frame the face, but I'm gonna do that until after I do the face. You guys basically wanted to see like a little makeup routine of what I do with my face and stuff. I kind of already prepped my skin, my little skin skincare in the morning. So now I'm basically gonna apply my primers. Since I usually, if I don't prime or like if I'm doing my makeup like later in the day or whatever, like in this case my face is still pretty fresh for the morning, I would usually moisturize with the Tatcha. This is really great since I have really dry skin. I'm gonna go ahead and basically spray this on. Yes, I still have it. I use them until like I don't have any anymore. So like there's no wasting here, okay? I'm gonna go right ahead and use this, what's it called? The Makeup Forever Tone Up Perfection. It's, I've had this for so long, and honestly, it helps a lot with, I think, the redness that I have around my T-zone. Then I'm gonna go right ahead and use a pore filler. This is probably my favorite pore filler ever because I think it does do its justice. It really does help a lot. It's just low-key a little bit on the pricier end. Makeup is just very expensive in general, and I'm already running out. This has been my lifesaver. This is my holy grail. I love this so much. The Hydro Grip from Milk is amazing. It really does help my makeup stay on. The only issue is, since I sweat a lot, especially with being overweight, my makeup literally melts off. And I mean melts off. Um, it gets really bad <laughs> like I'll even put a picture here because I'm just a sweaty person and I haven't really found the perfect combo to prevent that because regardless of the case it's not just little sweat it's drenching bitch so it's a problem and since I want my lips plumped I'm gonna go right ahead and inject them ah no bitch I'm gonna use this lip plumper you feel the sting with these like these are so good I generally like it these are the foundations that I have been using them I've been doing them like kind of together because this one's too dark as you can see and this one's pretty light so I've been combining them but I did buy the makeup by Mario foundation I think today I am gonna be doing this combo just because I don't want to waste this and I've been debating on returning this one only because I don't know it's just I don't know if it's just me applying it wrong or something but I'm just gonna try it out again for now I'm just gonna do my usual this is a Lancome this is in the shade 335W and then I use the Fit Me Maybelline foundation or the matte foundation this is what I've used since high school and it's been amazing I've always been 112 that's the color that I use we're gonna go ahead and prime the eyes though this is also by Breedy Creations um, I like it honestly I mean it's a good eye base and I really don't mind it it's the color porcelain so eyes are primed I like to outline the under eye hold the under of the brow I've been liking how my brows have been looking so I've just been <laughs> loving it I am gonna be starting off with the eyes I was gonna start my foundation but I just realized I was like eyes first so I am gonna be using this palette here Myra and Karina's palette the Hamela cosmetic collection honestly I love it so so much I'm gonna add like the residue of the powder my powder brush on top to kind of mattify it and it won't be so hard to blend I don't really know how eye primer works but that's what I do all right I'm gonna go ahead and use bunny to kind of pack it all over the lid as well just to kind of have a nice smooth base in a way is it just me or do you guys also have like a little makeup rag that you use to like kind of wipe off your brushes that's me and then I'm gonna go ahead and use womb buddy and just kind of like pack it all around the lid and like just use that as our transition color kind of thing and then I'm gonna be using like a very fluffy brush I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out and just to say, I am not a makeup artist. I am not like an Emmy way of any sort. This is how I tend to do my makeup. There is a lot of really good makeup 
artists or makeup be make basically a lot of makeup influencers who know how to do their makeup and it looks so good and sometimes I feel like mine could just look so sloppy and just like not <laughs> it's just not it it just reminds me of 2016 so I feel like I'm still in that 2016 era and I'm still trying to figure out the makeup situation well mainly for the eyeshadow slowly but surely I'll figure it out you know any tips or tricks are more than welcome in the comments just because I need help especially with the sweat of my face and everything like I just need something that's gonna help me out a lot with that now I am gonna be using Teddy neck and I'm gonna go ahead and basically place that kind of like in the outer corner area I'm gonna just pack it on just mainly focusing on the outer now that we have it looking like this I'm gonna go back and get the same brush that I used to basically like blend out the first shade clean it up a little bit but not really because we're gonna use it as like a transition shade and kind of just softly blend out the edges i'm gonna go right ahead and take brownie and kind of just put some depth into the little corner corner like right here i don't want it all around i just want to add some like definition into the eye a little bit oh my gosh i feel like i just can't do makeup good guys okay don't judge and then i just kind of blend it out i'm gonna low-key use womb buddy to kind of like seamlessly blend it out a little bit or though no that's not a good idea oh my gosh i mean on camera it doesn't look bad or does it and i'm just being delusional i'm gonna be using this eyeliner just to kind of open up the eyes a little bit and then I'm gonna kind of put some eyeshadow under the eye. I am gonna go in with brownie and go under the eye. I am gonna be taking the shade 1994 and basically place that kind of in the inner corner slash towards the mid, kind of blending it a little bit. I thought I had some more of the Lancome one, but I kind of had to throw it out because there was nothing left. But I'm just gonna use the Fit Me one and I'm just gonna put it all over the face. And then I use like a kabushi brush, ah kabushi, and I kind of just blend it out. I already put some contour on, cream contour, but I am using the Rare Beauty, still the same one that I've been using. I use this kind of stippling kind of brush and just kind of like blend it out upwards. I am going to be using this cream for a hip pan and I'm going to use this kind of like brush and stipple it. I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced powder, light medium. I'm going to use this type of brush, a hit pan as well. Kind of just like lightly pat that in. I feel like this has been making me look a little muddy lately, so I kind of want to find a new bronzer. Now I'm going to be using the Cinderella blush palette, and it's called Ever After. This is a highlighter and blush combo, but I mainly use the blush. So honestly, it's a really pretty blush. I love it so much. It's so pigmented, so like literally it's it's intense i'm gonna go right ahead and use a translucent powder this is the beauty creations as well it's just a translucent powder i'm gonna go right ahead and basically use this type of brush it's like a triangle brush clean it up because i hate when it gets very messy that's how intense i like it and i just pat it in the under eye i i'm also using this new powder it's patrick stars press powder um this is in the shade light i'm gonna go ahead and put it all over the face so it could wipe off the white powder for the under eye i use this kind of brush it's tiny press and kind of wipe i have a small forehead so i need a small brush i use this brush to kind of brush off this under eye here I took some black eyeliner and put some in like the water line of my lash line and now I'm gonna go ahead and add some glitter in the inner corner for my brows I'm just gonna go ahead and brush them out and then use a brow gel to just kind of keep them in place and add some color I got these lashes and I generally forgot where I got these from um, so yeah i even threw out the box so i'm so sorry y'all like i wish i knew which brand were these but i generally don't the face is practically done i am going to be using this lipstick it's a buxom that's the shade of the gloss or the whatever it is i like these because i feel like they're limp plumper as well and it's just a pretty color look at that and here is the completed look. I had the softener on, so of course it looked matte, but this is without the softener on with the camera. And honestly, my 
my makeup's not that bad I'm actually kind of liking it. it's not too shabby I don't really do makeup as often like that I'm not an expert or anything so honestly this is the best I could do <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little get ready just a quick little quick change of plans so I'm actually gonna record like a better video with my hair and all that stuff so we will see how this one turns out but other than that guys we'll see you in the next one